Dr. Suachla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. Often we talk about how sugar can be detrimental when uh, you are uh, up for fertility treatment. When you're not able to get pregnant, we ask you to cut down on sugar. What is sugar and how does it affect fertility is what we are going to discuss today. Sugar is a term used for all sweet carbohydrates. Although it is typically used to describe sugar or table sugar, which is a double sugar. But sugar is basically all the sweet carbohydrates that we consume. Carbohydrates are broken down into simple sugars such as glucose, which can then be readily used in the body. Sugar is found naturally in some foods such as fruits, dairy products, and it's also added to many others. This sugar that we consume can be white, raw or brown sugar, honey, corn syrup, among many other sugars that are available. Adults and young people over the age of 11 should consume less than 30 grams of sugar per day. So let's see what the symptoms of poor blood sugar levels can be if you're not able to control it properly or it is called as poor glucose tolerance. There could be headaches, shakes after a few hours of no food, you know, tremors in the body, poor concentration, mood swings, depression, blood pressure rising, high blood pressure, weight gain, especially around the middle part of your body. But did you also know that eating too much refined sugar, the type found in cakes, biscuits, sweets, and most packaged foods and pastries can affect fertility? Let's try to explore how. This is because excess consumption of refined sugar can lead to inflammation, hormone disruption, continued stimulation of adrenal glands, yeast infections, lowered immunity and may also contribute to leptin resistance along with increasing bad cholesterol and triglycerides in the body. There are many factors that can cause poor sugar control such as consuming a high diet in refined carbohydrates and insufficient nutrients, lack of exercise, excessive alcohol intake, chronic stress and anxiety, diabetes, being overweight and hormonal imbalances due to PCOS. Or there are some other medical conditions also which could lead to this problem. Excess sugar affects fertility both in men and women. In men, research has shown that consuming sugar sweetened drinks is correlated with low sperm motility. In otherwise healthy men, this problem is not there who are not consuming too much of sugar drinks. Men that are consuming caffeinated energy drinks or soft drinks may also experience reduced fertility. So how does sugar affect fertility? Let's look at that. One of the main ways sugar affects fertility is by disrupting hormones. Like I said, our hormones need to work together like a finely tuned orchestra, especially when trying for a baby. Consumption of refined carbohydrates can cause blood sugar levels to rise and fall and insulin levels to peak and fall down as well. A fall in sugar levels causes the adrenal glands to release hormones which are cortisol and adrenaline in an attempt to restore sugar levels. If refined sugar is consumed in excess, this leads to the adrenal glands to be repeatedly stimulated to release cortisol and adrenaline, which over time weakens the adrenal glands, causing them to slow down due to fatigue. So because they are constantly in work, this may then cause key hormones in the body to become out of balance which will have a knock-on effect on other hormones in the body and ultimately affect fertility levels in both men and women. Eating too many refined sugary foods over time can affect the release of insulin from the pancreas. And insulin, which is very important, is produced by the pancreas and its job is to change the sugar in our body to energy for our body to consume. But if too much insulin is being constantly released by the pancreas, this can eventually lead to insulin resistance. Insulin excess can affect ovulation and maturation of the eggs in ovaries and is uh, common in patients with PCOS. Certain nutritional supplements can help support insulin resistance and promote ovulation. The nutrient myoinositol has been shown to improve insulin resistance and it also helps in restoring ovulation in women with PCOS. However, you have to understand that all these treatment options have to be under the guidance of a fertility specialist or a physician or an endocrinologist. So eating too much refined sugar can also affect the nutrient status of the body as certain vitamins and minerals are used up when cortisol and insulin are released. Some of these include vitamin E, magnesium, vitamin B, all of which are very important for fertility. So what should you do? Let me give you a few tips to help control blood sugar levels. Try to consume more foods which contain protein when you eat carbohydrate foods to slow down the release of sugar and to help prevent sugar spikes. Healthy fats such as those found in uh, fruits, avocados, nuts, seeds will help you slow down the absorption of sugar 
into the bloodstream. Complex carbohydrates such as those found in uh, whole grains, fruits, vegetables, which take longer to digest and cause a slower rise in blood sugar levels are good for health. If you wish to understand more about this, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.